victims of post-election violence want the recommendations contained in the report by the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission implemented immediately. This came up as representatives of the victims met with a section of members of parliament to vent their frustrations following what they termed as parliament's failure to prioritize their plight. Katie and Timothy Otien on our report. We are just asking you to implement the to, 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 to adopt it because of the many Kenyan women who were raped during the post-election violence and had children and have HIV, got disabilities, bore children with disabilities, and you people want to be politically correct and not pass a document because you're scared of being re-elected. Words laced with emotions and directed to members of the National Assembly by one of the victims of the post-election violence of 2007 who wants the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission report adopted as soon as possible. And they are suffering. The contents of that report triggering an early morning dialogue between the victims of the violence and parliamentarians with the victims arguing that the report has been gathering dust in the shelves since the 21st of May 2013 when it was handed over to President Uhuru Kenyatta by the then head of the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission, Ambassador Bethwell Kiplagat. The gathering prompted by a petition tabled on the floor of the National Assembly in November last year by Wajir South Member of Parliament, Abdullahi Mohammed, requesting Parliament to act fast and implement the recommendations highlighted by the report. The report was tabled in the Parliament and we are waiting for it and we are going to give it every support. A promise that some of the victims present here insist is nothing but lip service over a matter that affected hundreds of lives and resulted in the death of more than a thousand Kenyans when the country underwent one of its worst days in history. For us to be perceived as specimens to represent women, so many in this country are just sitting in parliament. I find it, and I, I find it, um, that is the height, if not of anything, but moral corruption. That you can gain salaries and get money and you do not represent us. According to the 2013 TJRC report recommendations, there was to be the establishment of public memorials in honor of victims and affected communities of both the post-poll violence and previous historical injustices the formulation of legal, policy and institutional reforms to protect and enforce the rights of all persons as well as the investigation and prosecution of individuals alleged to have been involved in the perpetuation of human rights abuses. The TJRC report must be tapered in Parliament without no more delay as soon as possible the report also highlighted the need to establish a 10 billion shilling restorative justice fund to provide relief to victims of past human rights violation. A fund that is still yet to be formed despite a presidential directive last year during a State of the Nation address by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Once we have, we develop a formula of delivery on the right issues in the report we have no problem with passing or with uh, debating this, and we have no problem with pursuing the restorative justice, 10 billion shillings. The tears of the victims here symbolizing the suffering of many more victims across the nation that the members here say continue to endure physical, psychological, and social economic suffering by failure by the National Assembly to act on the report, therefore denying them full closure to a dark chapter in their lives. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.